So in this tutorial, we'll be cre creating some 3D objects using Pressful functionality. So this object we want to create. So first, we will create a rectangle of 50 by 75. Then we will press pull it by 12 distance. So first create a rectangle. Before that, we will shift to 3D. So click on here 3D modeling. Then we don't need this palette, tool palette. So we will just close it. Then at first we will create a rectangle. Suppose before that again we will shift. At first we will shift to southeast isometrics so that we can view the z axis. Then to shift it to the left side we will use UCS icon command. Then no region so it will be shifted to left side. Then we have to create a rectangle of 50 by 75. So using line command or rectangle command you can create it. Suppose I create it using line command. I will make it a fit on or thon then give the length of 50. Then 75 again 50 and 75. So this rectangle is ready. So you can convert it into 3D using press full. Press full. Go inside and click. Then you have to select the direction where you want to do the in which direction you want to do the press full. Then give the thickness. So in our case the thickness is 12. So we will give the thickness of 12. So this base plate is created. So we can view it in conceptual visual style by clicking on this conceptual. So in 3D format you can view it. After that we have to create this cut of 25 by okay we will assume it to be 12 length is not given all right. So we will take it as a 12 and from this side it is on 25. So at the center we have to create a rectangle. So we can take the reference of this edges. For the taking that reference, we can use extract uh, from solid editing, extract edges, copy edges. Select the edge, enter, base point, direction and distance is 25. Then again copy, this edge I want to copy, enter, base point, direction 25. Then again copy, I want to copy this edge on 12 distance. Select edge, enter, base point, give the direction, give the distance of 12, enter. So in this way, here this shape is created. You can cut this shape using press pull command. Just say press pull, go inside the shape, take your cursor inside the shape, press it and go down. And cross, uh, go down and cross the thickness and just click. So it will be cut. So in this way it has been cut. So we can remove the these edges which we don't use uh, required. So we will go back to 2D wireframe so that a selection will become simple. And using erase command we are erasing the unwanted edges. So we will again come back to conceptual visual style. So it can be viewed in 3D. Now next step will be to create this shape. So at first we will create a shape of suppose 75 minus 20 that is that will become 55. So 55 by 25 rectangle we will create here. So again we will use the copy edges, copy edges, copy this edge, enter base point direction 25 distance. Then again say copy, copy this edge, enter base point direction on 55 distance. So again this shape is created then extra uh, press pull distance is 25. Again we will say press pull we will select this object inside shape this one and we will give a height of 25. So this has been press pulled by 25 distance. Then we 
we have to create that taper portion so to create this taper portion we will copy this edge on 20 distance again we will say copy edges this edge enter base point direction of 20 then we will just create one line connecting these two points so we will say line so I want to connect this line endpoint of this this point to this point so that inclined line is created here so escape to come out so we will we have to remove this portion so using press pull you can remove that just say press pull select the portion go back side and just click so that portion will be erased so in this way the particular portion has been erased so in this way we have created this object using press pull after that so so that's all thanks for joining